Um, yeah, there's a few things dragging today. Uh, Apple, of course, the worst performing Dow component as tech is struggling. Let's get to Bob Bassani this morning. Morning, Bob. Good morning, Carl. And uh, we're back to the reflation trade. Uh, and that happens um, when you see yields move up. And at 7 a.m., yields started moving up three basis points in an hour from 7 to 8 a.m. Eastern time. We lost 15 points in the S&P futures. Absolute clear inverse relationship, and we haven't really recovered. So let's take a look at the sectors. This is the reflation trade. And the good news is, gee, you don't like tech. You don't like growth because rates move up. We'll just go back and play reflation. There's reflation. Banks, energy, industrials. That's the reflation trade. Meantime, the growth trade, which is semiconductors and China. China's a proxy for growth, too down today. This is perfect. They're doing exactly what they usually do every time rates start moving up. So the good news is the broader market, the S&P is holding up fine because of the constant rotation going on. The bad news is we're getting some, let's just call them some, uh, some headwinds at this point here. If you look at thematic tech ETFs, uh, this is the way the market tends to buy things these days. Uh, the clean tech for example, the Kathy Wood's ARC funds. Uh, Kathy Wood has a next generation Internet fund week today. Uh, cloud computing, 3D printing. All of these have problems anytime rates start moving up. A little better in the last week and a half, but generally down in the last month or so. If you look at sectors this month, rotation is really head snapping. It moves really, really fast. Generally, we went into the month, the reflation trade doing well. Retail. Banks, energy, doing well. Industrials, doing well. Tech has been lagging. The last week, there's been days when tech has been outperforming. So it's just head-snapping rotation that's happening all the time around trying to figure out what's going on with the rate structure here. And if you look at the cross currents right now, there's more tailwinds than there are headwinds, I think. And that's why the broad market is holding up so well. Rates here are, the 10-year is moving towards 2%. The market believes that is happening. And the question is, can it hold up and stabilize with the rotation play. Taxes are being talked about a lot. A lot of models passed around about whether we're going to get a 2022 hit to earnings or not. It's too early to tell overall. Consumer spending, though, stimulus is going to be really, really big for consumer spending throughout the year. And earnings keep going up. I pay attention to this every single day. I look at how the numbers are going. And let's just take a look at this, because this is the real determinant of stock prices. They have been continuing to rise through the first quarter. 2021, on January 1st, we were expecting uh, the first quarter to be up 16 percent. Now, now we're up here 22 percent. It should be saying 22 percent. Their second quarter there, uh, we are, of course, we are uh, up 45 percent on January 1st. Now it's up 52 percent. So the bottom line, Carl, is earnings numbers keep going up. And this has been a phenomenon the last several quarters, rising earnings estimates, not falling earnings estimates. That's keeping the market up. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.